Yo, TTC, Niner Empire, what's up? You know who this is. Um, just gonna make this video real quick. Well, get this part out of the way real quick because I got some shit to say about, you know, the TTC thought. We all know who that is. Uh, anyway, uh, give this crow to uh, Seattle. Uh, you guys beat us week 17. Uh, in the last game of the season, y'all give us a... Our 14th W, or our 14th L, my bad. So this is my 14th crow of the season. This shit sucks, just to let y'all know. <laughs> um, fucking, the game, the game turned out to be really good. Um, you know, uh, it's just, it came down to pretty much our defense in the closing minutes. It really, really did. Uh, you know, they put in... Uh, their backup, and uh, we just our defense couldn't execute and get him off the field to give us a shot at either tying the game and taking it to overtime or winning the game. You know, so that's you know what happened. Um, our run defense looked pretty good against Seattle. Uh, you know, I don't know everything that's going on with their running back core or anything like that. We all know what their offensive line's about and shit like that. And yes, their offensive line sucks ass, but it sucked ass earlier in the season when we played them. And they ran all over us. So, you know, uh, it was just this last half of the season in uh, quite a few of these games, uh, our run defense looked better. I'm not praising it by any means. I really am not. Uh, you know, because we look like shit most of the year. Uh, so, that's something that really needs to get cleaned up next season. But, you know, they looked good for the most part. Um, you know, and did what they needed to do. As far as the run game part of it. Uh, so, you know, congrats to Seattle. You know, I know winning that game, and uh, I can't remember if y'all needed someone else to lose or not on top of it, but that helped you guys lock down that, I think, three seed. Uh, I can't remember if you're a three seed or not, but uh, that helped you secure that, so that way you're not coming in this thing as a wild card and having to travel everywhere. You get to host a wild card game, um, which is huge, uh, you know, which is, which is really, really huge. So, you know, congrats to y'all. We'll see you motherfuckers next season. We got you twice again, like we do every year. We'll see you motherfuckers next season. We'll see how that turns out. So now, I'm done with that. On to the TTC dot. Mr. Frisco knows who that is. Some of you others know who that is. Uh, I'm... I'm calling her uh, Nurse Betty. You know, D1, the crock wearing uh, male nurse. It's Nurse Betty from now on. Bruh, what the fuck is your goddamn issue? Jesus fucking Christ, man. Our season's done. 2 and 14. We know this. Everybody who watches football knows this. Okay? For some goddamn reason, you're more concerned with my squad than you are yours, once again. What, is it the fact that you know your punk ass team is one and done? Because motherfucking Rapist Burger and Antonio Brown are gonna fucking shit all over your garbage ass motherfucking 29 ranked defense? You know, or is it the fact that this is probably the last playoff game you'll see from Miami in a long time? You know, I really don't understand. What, do you like the taste of 49er cock in your mouth that goddamn much? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. 
I mean, you, you want to sit here and talk and talk and talk. You ain't got shit. You can motherfucking tell me about the goddamn Miami Dumpins. Nothing. The most irrelevant goddamn franchise in the NFL. Period. I told your bitch ass on Twitter. No matter how many wins, how many losses the 49ers have in a goddamn season, we're always, always more relevant than your bitch ass franchise has ever been and will ever be. We get talked about more as a 2 and 14 team than you hoes will get talked about for the next five years. You can win the Super Bowl and in one month we'll have more goddamn publicity and more goddamn headlines and be talked about in more motherfucking circles than you hoes will in, in the next five years and that's even if you win the Super Bowl. So don't come at me with this bullshit until your franchise has done anything. Fuck dude. Get the fuck out of here and worry about your own motherfucking team and your own motherfucking franchise. Because you guys ain't done shit ever. Ever. I don't give a shit about your one punk ass ring and your undefeated season. Who cares? Nobody. It's you motherfucking fans, fans of these goddamn teams that ain't won shit, ain't never had success, nothing. That they, they sit here and chirp, and chirp, and chirp. You pick out, you know, you wait until, like I bet you'd be going in on the cow bitches if, if they was in the same situation right now. You pick on the franchises that are the elite, the most prestigious, the motherfucking most historical fucking franchises in NFL history. Have a few bad years, and you think you've earned the goddamn right to open your cocksuckers about my franchise? No, you haven't earned that right yet boy so sit at the little kids table drink milk out of your sippy cup and watch your bitch ass team get bounced out of these goddamn playoffs and when you're on the motherfucking couch with your thumb up your ass I don't want to hear a peep not one goddamn peep now go sing love songs for some dude Kiss my ass, I'm out. Fuck the dolphins. <laughs>